Hey guys, it's Reed Florin here, and here's a tip for you on how you can use tools like Funnel Scripts and combine it with tools like Conversion AI to write even better copy and stand out in your marketplace. So what I'm going to do is I am in Conversion AI right now. I'm going to open up the Long Farm Assistant, and I'll do this. And that's going to get me into the Long Farm Assistant mode. Now I'm going to go over to Funnel Scripts, and... This is, you know, if you remember those Mad Libs books where you basically would fill in the blanks of like a, a noun or an adjective or a verb, that kind of thing, it would tell a story and it would be funny and silly. Well, their approach to this is to use it for copy, uh, for writing sales copy, for helping you create content, ads, things like that. It's behind what they use for ClickFunnels and a lot of their top users use this program. Now, where it falls behind is they don't use artificial intelligence and tools like conversion.ai do. So what I'm saying is you mesh the two together because they've got a lot of proven copy elements that have been used to help people generate millions upon millions of dollars, actually billions of dollars in, in sales from the combined efforts of users on ClickFunnels. And what you can do is you can use this to help you create better content with Conversion AI because it's going to start off with a really good starting point. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do one of their example projects because I don't want to fill out all the form details. So I'm going to do one that's aimed for uh, people that want sales copywriting tools because I figure that'd be relevant to this group. And so it's going to be aimed at funnel hackers. That's what the click funnel uh, people call themselves. Uh, they are focused on sales copywriting. They want um, web page promo copy and ads. They want to get more leads. They want to be financially independent. And the enemy they face is overpriced copywriters. Okay, so I'm going to click build. And so it's going to spit out. I don't know, it's over 50 different content ideas. And this is just one of their tools like they have. I don't know, 100 or so tools in here. They've been around for quite a while. I can click any of these and it'll you know give me a different one. So that seems like a pretty good one. Seven sales copywriting mistakes. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go to Conversion AI. I'll write a blog post about the seven sales copywriting mistakes that can cost you big. Continue. Uh, I'm gonna see if it comes up with any better um, titles for me. I don't think so. So I'm, I'm just going to go uh, with that. And then I'll do an intro paragraph. I'll use this one. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'll switch this to long. So we're at 82 words right now. I think we're on mistake four. Now we're on five or six. Hmm. 
Let's count them. It's one, two, three, four, I'm anxious to say that's five, six, like around six, and all right, seven here. We might be at a little more than seven here. Uh, See if there's anything else. So I think that's pretty good. I mean, we've got right around a thousand words. We've been doing this for seven minutes and that's uh, explaining how to use it and switching back and forth between a couple different programs. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little tweaking, a little editing, count how many things there are, see if there's some that I like better than others because I may decide to use like the blog outline tool. Uh, let me share with you that. So go into power mode and I'll go into uh, blog outline and uh, my son was having fun with this the other day and so what we'll do is seven sales uh, mistakes that can cost you big time cost you big and I'm going to generate output this is another way you could do it because this would give you a little bit more guiding uh, of, of Jarvis so like not understanding your audience, being too general, focus on features and benefits, using words that are too complex, making promises you can't keep writing in a way that's not natural, and you not using testimonials or case studies. Like those could work. There's some definite um, errors there that I'll have to. Um, I should tell them about. I'm gonna flag <laughs> these. Every once in a while, there's some glitches. And we'll get rid of that one too. But here's, you know, a couple of them that that definitely came out. I'll flag that one too. Definitely some issues with that today. But there's a few of them, and I could see which ones really grabbed me, and then I could put those as my mistakes in this article and then have Jarvis write it for me, and that way uh, I can get exactly what I want. But not bad to, to be able to get a really rough draft of something in under 10 minutes using proven copy techniques and then having Jarvis write the content for me. So this is something that I could use as a blog post, I could use it as a, a social media post, I could send it out as an email to my list, I could turn it into a video, I could turn it into a podcast or an audio that people would download. This could even be part of a product. Like I could put this into elements for like a PowerPoint presentation. It could be like, you know, the seven copywriting mistakes that cost you big. And, you know, here's mistake one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I go through it and I expand on it in my own words and, and using some of this as my script to fall back on. And that could be part of a presentation that you could give at like a live event or a seminar. There's a lot of things that you could do with this by combining the two tools to make even better content 
and to make content that people are going to want to click on, they're going to want to open, they're going to want to take action. So I encourage you to utilize multiple tools when you're doing stuff with conversion AI. Even if you just find some ideas online of different uh, titles that you like, different headlines you like, copy and paste them into Jarvis and see what Jarvis comes up with because that's going to give you a, a really good starting point. And you can always tweak and modify and, and change things around a little bit, but use it as a, a guide point to, to make your life easier, make your job easier, make you create content that's going to make people take action. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I highly encourage you to use tools like conversion.ai and funnel scripts together so you can stand out from the pack and use all the weapons in your arsenal at your total disposal to help you make more money online, help you get more traffic, help you get more sales, all by using the power of proven copy and artificial intelligence to generate the content that people love.